Now I want to tell you, I want to tell you a story and leave it here. This um, I call it marriage story number one. I'm going to be telling some funny stories, and um, I start with marriage. There was this man that married this woman, and this woman that married this man, and uh, they used to abuse each other and uh, fight each other. They would drink and quarrel and fight, and they love it. But the, the, this man was getting out of hand. So he was abusing this woman mentally, abusing her physically. And uh, this woman couldn't take it no more. So this woman went to visit uh, her mom and discovered uh, in the basement, you know, you guys know these old frying pans that were made of heavy irons in those days. Those very heavy frying pan, they were really heavy. You have to carry it with two hands, very, very heavy. And when, when you use it to make grits or to fry eggs and so on, you have to carry it with two hands because it was so heavy, those kind of frying pans. So she saw one in her mom's basement. And so she wrapped it up, never told the mom that she was taking it. She put it in her car and took it and went home. So that day, the husband was came home from his job, was really tired and was sleeping. She was really angry with, with him. So she she took that big heavy iron. I don't know what they call those heavy iron um, frying pans of those days. I think there is a name they used to call it. I have no idea. If anybody knows, please tell me. Oh, what do they call it? Cast iron, okay. She took it, came up quietly and hit him, hit him in the head while he was sleeping. Very heavy. She hit him so hard. Boom! And she ran away. Whoa! She called uh, the man, the man was shouting, shouting. The neighbors heard it. And they called the cops, they called 911, they took him to the hospital, meaning he had concussion that made him lose his ability to speak clearly. Uh, he said he was seeing stars and moon, he was seeing things, he was seeing spirits, he was seeing animals chasing him. I mean, he said he was seeing things that he's never seen before. And he said he was hearing the church bell, you know those old church bells that somebody will be dragging up and down. Boom, boom, boom. He said he was hearing the church bell in the city going off in his head. So they actually ended up in the court. This man also, how he was hit made him unable to walk properly. So he had to be on a wheelchair. So they went to court and the, the, fam the both families were there. Both families were there. And they argued it in court. And finally, um, the woman behind uh, his back decided that uh, she really needed a divorce. So she, she went on divorcing. So they went back to court. They had a house together, joint bank account together and all of that. So this was going on. The man was ready because he was so afraid that if he moved back into that house, that woman would surely kill him. So he was very afraid. So he decided that uh, the best thing for him to do is to move back to his uh, his people, his, his family. And the woman encouraged him to go back because she said she didn't want him no more. She's tired of him. So while he, he was trying to talk to his family to come back, his family said, no, you are not coming back. Because we told you not to marry this woman. You said if you don't marry this woman that you commit suicide. The family of the woman told the woman, why are you trying to leave this man? We told you not to marry him. You said if you don't marry this, this woman, this man, you go and throw yourself from the bridge and die. So both of you have to live together and work it out. So the woman packed his things 
and went and dropped it in the man's family and dropped it uh, at the door of their, of their home, of their family compound. You know what the family of the man did? But let me tell you what happened in court. In court, they asked the man what happened, and because he couldn't talk properly, he goes, that's all he could say. And then he got up real loud, lovely solo, which means he's pointing at the woman and he goes, which means she's a very wicked woman. She's a very wicked woman. The way he, he was writing also, he wrote it. He wrote it so people were reading it out to him. And he said, the way the woman hit him with that heavy, heavy, a uh, heavy frying pan, he heard the bell ringing, and the bell had been ringing in his head constantly. He saw stars, big stars flying out of his head. Big stars were flying out of his head. <laughs> He said he saw he saw things were, were, were flying out of his body. He doesn't know what. That the way the woman hit him, that that woman is very evil. The woman wanted to kill him. That that woman should be put in jail. He got... <laughs> so the woman back... The woman packed his things and went and dumped it in front of the man's family house. You know what these people did? They watched for when the woman went to, to her job. The woman has gone to her job. They pack the man's things, put in a truck. Listen to this. And they wheel the man, put him in a car, in a van. They drove the man with his things back to the woman's house. The family said, listen, you told us that that woman was the only meat in your stew. She is the sunshine in your life. We are not allowing you at the age of 60 to come back to us. You are not going anywhere. You are going back to her. The man protested. They said, no way. You are going back there. They took the man, reached the house of the of that he and the woman owned together. He has decided that he doesn't even want to contest the house. He is just the woman will kill him if we if he goes back. The people say we don't care whether he kills you or not. You guys are used to this. You know what they did? They broke down the they kicked the door in the door in. I mean they kicked the door in and they threw all his things. I mean they did not carry it. They didn't carry it gently in. They threw his things back in. They threw it all in and they also threw him in in the wheelchair. They threw him back in and they left. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> the family were so angry with him that they threw his thing somebody will pick his luggage and threw it in it will just fly and land on the wall boom they picked this they threw it in they picked they threw everything in and finally he thought they would wheel him in they took him in and threw him in with the wheelchair he fell with the wheelchair landing on him for the first time he rose up from sitting on that wheelchair and knew that the game is up, they threw him in and they entered their car and they left. They said, you stay there and marry. You wanted marriage. You are in marriage properly. <sighs> I will tell you more marriage stories. Tonight, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh boy. Mm. Marriage. 